Imagine having your personal AI shopping assistant to help you compare products and choose what to buy. Well, now that's become reality. I'm Tim, the AI operator. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about the new product recommendation features of ChatGPT and Gemini that can help you find and compare products in a totally personalized shopping experience. In this video, you'll learn how shopping works in ChatGPT and Gemini. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the shopping experience in both tools. What businesses must do to prepare for the AI shopping revolution. How ChatGPT's product recommendations work. In April 2025, OpenAI, updated ChatGPT's search feature to include product recommendations. With search enabled, you can ask ChatGPT for product recommendations or give instructions to find a particular item. It will show you images and reviews for relevant items with direct links to buy. You'll be able to click through the seller's website to read more details and complete your purchase. How does ChatGPT decide what products to show? Product recommendations are based on the details in the prompt, ChatGPT will attempt to find products that closely match your request. What ChatGPT knows about you and your preferences. According to past conversations, ChatGPT can now recall information from your entire conversation history. You can watch my video on this topic to find out more. Reviews pulled from the web. It will prioritize products with high ratings and good reviews published online. ChatGPT uses Bing to gather search results and its own web crawler. This helps it understand the content more deeply and deliver better results. OpenAI have claimed that all shopping results are organic and you won't see paid placements, ads, or sponsored content, at least for now. According to Adam Fry, OpenAI search product lead, ChatGPT users are already running over a billion web searches per week, using the tool to shop for beauty products, home goods, and electronics. In an interview with Wired, he explained that ChatGPT provides a personalized and conversational shopping experience rather than a keyword focused one. Adam Fry says, it's not looking for specific signals that are in some algorithm. It's trying to understand how people are reviewing this, how people are talking about this, what the pros and cons are. Supposedly, ChatGPT should give you recommendations that align with your tastes based on conversation history. My prediction, ChatGPT's super memory gets to know you better the more you use it. So as you build your relationship with the AI, product recommendations will get better and better, giving you unique recommendations to match your preferences, budget, and lifestyle. Product recommendations in Google Gemini. Google has the advantage of a long history and established reputation in online retail with Google Shopping and Google Search being the go-to search engine for shopping. So how do product recommendations work in Gemini? Well, it's powered by deep research and Gemini uses Google Search Google Shopping and online reviews to provide real-time information and generate a list of recommended products with links to buy. If you're logged in with your Google account, results should be personalized based on your search history, Google activity, and location. In addition to a curated selection of products, you'll also get helpful summary to condense reviews and product details. Gemini is strongly multimodal, so it should perform well with image prompts. For example, you could submit pictures of your bedroom and ask it to recommend a set of curtains that complement the design and fit the requirements of the space. Let's break down the key differences between Gemini and ChatGPT. Let's review the two tools side by side. So data source, ChatGPT uses Bing and OAI SearchBot, while Gemini uses Google Search, Google Shopping, and other Google-owned services. The input that you can include in ChatGPT is primarily text with image support, and Gemini will be very multimodal, so text, images, video. The recommendation style of ChatGPT's curated neutral product suggestions with links, reviews, and prices based on what it finds online, while Gemini uses deep research to analyze multiple sources, summarizes pros and cons, and offers a Google integrated suggestions. Personalization, ChatGPT remembers preferences from conversations, while Gemini can personalize based on your Google account activity like searches, YouTube views, location, and so on. ChatGPT has a nuanced follow-ups, comparisons, and refining suggestions with specific criteria. Gemini supports back and forth refinement with tighter integration to Google services, showing shopping results or maps. Product details in ChatGPT offers concise summaries with sources, but depends on what's publicly available on the web. 
while Gemini often includes richer data from Google Shopping, ratings, seller info, and availability. Ecosystem is quite independent, doesn't favor specific platforms or marketplaces. While, of course, Gemini is deeply tied to Google's ecosystem, so Google Shopping, Gmail Maps, and so on will be recommended more often. For now, in ChatGPT, we have no ads or affiliate links. Let's see what's going to happen later. In Gemini, it's organic, but products from Google Shopping may include sponsored listings. I'm going to test and compare the shopping experience on Gemini and ChatGPT. I'll search for a pair of orange blackout curtains. Same prompt for both tools. We'll compare the results provided by each. Let's start with Gemini. I would like to buy orange blackout curtains for my bedroom. Can you find me relevant products? And here we go. Gemini is finding the perfect orange blackout curtains for your bedroom. It involves considering several factors. Okay, so it's giving me a little bit of that. Available orange blackout curtains. It's giving me a bit of text, sizing. It doesn't do product recommendations. All right, let's get a deeper research about this. It's researching websites. So searching online for orange blackout curtains. It's refining the search to include bedroom in the query. This is not bad. I like this search. So it's using deep research, as we mentioned, and we're letting it start search for our products. It's researching a bunch of websites. It's even gone into Amazon, it's gone into a bunch of Turkish stuff. As I'm in Turkey, continuing its search. All right, Gemini has gone through how many sites? Oh my God. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, we're going to see the sources in the bottom because this is the same as deep research. We have the sources used in the report and some of the thoughts. Wow, but yeah, it's a lot of sites. And then I have a bunch of other here, all the Amazons, Ebays. It's giving us some thoughts. Wow. Okay, this is basically a deep research about the products that I'm looking for. So what's the output? It's an analysis of online retailers offering orange blackout curtains for bedrooms. We have some on Amazon. We can open this up. We can find the link to the Lemomo blackout orange curtains, which I've seen that myself. Here we have some other Amazon's ones. And then we have a comparison of the brands. We have Lemomo, Muley, Nice Town, and a bunch of others. We have their pricings. That's really good. We have Home Depot. We have price for Home Depot stuff. This is quite good. So I'm getting a bunch of tables comparing different products. I can export them to sheets. I could actually generate an audio overview and listen to this on the way back home from dropping my daughter next morning and understand a lot about blackout orange curtains. Crazy stuff. So that's right now what Gemini Advanced with 2.0 Flash has given me. Okay, from our first try on Gemini, what we can see is we get some results and it asks us if we want to do some deep research about it. We get a deep research, we get a full report with different tables as we saw on comparison of brands, pricing, different retailers, where we can buy them and so on. And we can go from here. Let's test the same thing now in ChatGPT. So I'm pasting the same prompt. I'm doing this with, with ChatGPT 4.0. It's searching the web. And here we go. Boom. OMG. This is already a much better experience than Gemini, right? We're getting the products right away. We have this, this nice little model that is like an iframe type of thing that is inside. It's like a carousel. I can go right. As you can see, we can see hotel quality. Right, good gram two pack hotel thermal. We see the pricing is in Turkish lira. As you saw in Gemini, it was in dollars and it was looking at US stuff. Right, ChatGPT already knows I'm really looking for Turkish products or products that I can buy in Turkey. So I'm getting Trendio, which is a Turkish uh, retail site with 540 Turkish liras. So no dollars here. Right, I'm getting this little, I really like this as well. Right, it says luxury choice, it says premium quality. It's kind of giving me some hints on which ones to look at. Underneath, we're getting already a top selection. So this is a top selection, apparently. If I click on it, it opens on the right side. It's on eBay, it's 1,264 Turkish Liras. I can click on buy and it takes me to eBay to buy them. But funny enough, now I'm back in dollars. But as you can see on here, I'm in Turkish Liras. That's very interesting. And I'm getting a much better experience inside ChatGPT because I have images. I have a carousel of all the products and I even have these little tags that, as I mentioned, I really like these tags, budget friendly, top rated, energy efficient, and so on, right? If I click on it, as you've seen, 
it opens up on the right side and I'm getting more details about it. And actually it's giving me also a summary of why I might like this, what people are saying about them and the positive reviews about them. Wow, I can already see also more images about this product. This is quite good. Okay, so these are blackout curtains. They don't look orange, but when I go inside buying them, I'm guessing they'll be the orange color because we've seen that it does understand that I'm looking for orange ones. This is quite a good experience. This is very new. This is going to get better and better. So as you've seen, we've compared Gemini and ChatGPT and even Gemini is on Google. I still have a better experience with ChatGPT at the moment. The AI first shopping shift has started. We're at the start of a major shift in how people shop online. 61% of consumers surveyed have used general purpose AI tools to help them shop online. 54% said their search habits have become more conversational in the past 12 months. 50.1% of Gen Z consumers said they were likely to use an AI tool like ChatGPT to research purchases. Nowadays, instead of scrolling through endless Google results or browsing marketplace filters, more and more people are just asking an AI assistant, what's the best wireless earbuds under $100? And getting a clear curated list of recommendations. Tools like ChatGPT and Google Gemini are fast becoming the most efficient way to shop. Instead of 30 links you have to investigate, they serve you the three top picks. So what does that mean for businesses? After all, if your product isn't in those top results, you're invisible. So how can businesses succeed in the AI powered shopping era? Let's get into what businesses can do right now to stay visible as tools like ChatGPT and Gemini become the new personal shopping assistants. One, structure your product data, AI ready metadata. Make sure your product pages include structured data using schema.org, markup or similar formats, especially for things like product name, price, reviews, availability, categories and specs. The structured metadata is how AI tools understand your product in a machine readable way. It's like technical SEO for AI. Two, create AI friendly content. AI tools surface information from across the web, especially articles and guides that match how people ask questions. Create content that mirrors real world searches and phrases like best category for blah use case or what to look for in a product type top rated alternatives to popular product, things like that. This helps your site show up in Gemini's deep research or ChatGPT's recommendation process. Three, get reviewed on trusted platforms. AI systems reference third party review content to assess product quality and trustworthiness. Encourage real reviews and aim to be featured in niche blogs, YouTube review channels, tech review sites like Wirecutter, Tom's Guy, CNET, and so on. More citations equals more trust. More trust equals more visibility in AI suggestions. Four, be present in the right ecosystems. If you're not listed in ecosystems AI pulls from, you're invisible. For Gemini, Google Shopping, Google Merchant Center, YouTube, for ChatGPT platforms indexed by Bing like Amazon, Etsy, or review sites with structured metadata. Make sure your products are listed, accurate, and well-optimized on those platforms. Five, keep testing and reverse engineering. There are no fixed AI rankings yet, but you can learn by asking ChatGPT or Gemini what's the best product for. Neat. Seeing what brands or types appear, identifying what those top results do differently, then adapting your strategy. This is AI era market research. Six, Optimize for voice and mobile AI. Many users interact with AI tools via voice. Example like the Gemini app or the ChatGPT voice. Or mobile. Keep product names simple and pronounceable. Use clear, scannable formatting. Prioritize mobile-friendly UX and fast load times. AI recommendations may prioritize sites that are easy to present or read aloud in voice assistance. This is the next frontier, just like SEO was in the early 2000s. As consumer behavior shifts from search to conversation, those who optimize early for AI visibility will get a huge head start. Have you tried shopping with AI yet? Let me know in the comments if you found AI product recommendations useful. I'm Tim from AI Operator, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.